Welcome back Taurus for those that are joining me up to lay out three cards to delve into your relationships we can see that there's breakthroughs there's fated things happening around uh, for the singles and for the paired Tauruses out there new emotional growths beginnings engagements let's see what's coming up in the Egyptian deck here this card is sticking out okay very nice ace of wands this has been popping out for quite a few people Ace of Wands is about taking flight, new beginnings, new ventures, um, feeling free, feeling open. This is this is a new feeling that's going to be aroused in you, I think, with your relationships. It could be with a fire sign. It's an air sign or a fire sign or a water sign. Now, the Ace of Wands is the sky god Horus. Um, who rules action, adventure, new opportunity, and divine intervention. And it's interesting it's sitting on top of the Wheel of Fortune card. This is about divine orchestration. It could be that you're, there's something regarding a flight or a trip with your fated air sign, water sign, fire sign that's coming through here. There's a new beginning here, but this beginning you'll feel free. You won't feel... This person will give you a certain sense of autonomy and freedom, which I think you'll enjoy, Taurus. Especially while you're still getting your bearings and still getting to know them. Uh, with the Ace of Wands. There is potentially movement within a relationship, as I said. Uh, growth, mutability, um, coming to agreement with each other, diplomacy... vigilance you know the bird is this wonderful delicate creature and they're so intelligent and um, they have direction so there's a certain sense of direction you're on the road to direction where you know something will expand I think there's you will be reassured in your relationships in, and I think this will bring you somehow more emotional bliss we saw with the ace of cups and the queen of cups um, I love this I really do some of you are taking flight, you're going on a trip to meet a faded person or to be with someone, whether you're in a long distance relationship or fate has plans in store for you, or maybe you're getting a green card to go live with your significant other. This is amazing. This speaks volumes of what's to come for you, Taurus. It's almost like you're determined to do this. The sky god Horus was determined to avenge his um, avenge his father's death, Osiris, um, by battling out with Seth, his uncle. And he's in the form of a bird here, but it's all about determination. He was determined to do it, and he did. So there's almost like fate is pushing you. You're determined to do something, but fate is sending you synchronicity, messages, signs that you need to follow, Taurus, because they'll be there. The signs will be there. You need to read them. And they'll push you in the right direction. And you'll be determined to get this person. You'll be determined to have this freedom, have this liberation in the sense of your relationships. You'll be determined to propose to this person or have this person propose to you. Okay, there's a car that flipped over. What was it? The tower. Okay, major shakeups, sudden jolts, sudden realizations with the tower card here. Maybe things have been falling apart and they're coming back together. Maybe you have a tower moment. Maybe you have an inner crisis. Maybe there comes a time where you feel you're going to lose this person around you. Maybe you don't want to lose this person. It's almost like you were building towards something and suddenly it came crashing down. Suddenly a turn of events had changed. We see different signs here, Taurus. So maybe you're in a relationship with some and another person comes, comes back wanting what you once had. It can speak about affairs. Maybe someone will offer you the opportunity to have an affair. Maybe a water sign. We see a water sign, the Queen of Cups, in between the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So maybe someone is coming in the middle here. Someone is proposing a third party situation, or there's a lover's triangle happening here in your relationships. Or maybe the Tower with the Wheel of Fortune is all about 
coming into this upward cycle, leaving behind those tower moments or learning from those tower moments and pressing forward, moving forward. There could be scandal around your relationships, either gossip, scandal, um, rumors around a relationship as well with the tower card. Rumors about your significant other, maybe there's rumors that they've been unfaithful, that they've been partaking in something that's frowned upon with the tower card. Maybe they've um, accumulated a large amount of debt and suddenly it all needs to be paid ASAP. Maybe this is you because the tower card is unexpected shakeups that jolt our relationships or whichever applicable facet of your life into action, into a shakeup, into chaos even. Maybe it's an important conversation that needs to happen and will happen. Between the two of you with the tower card. Maybe it's unexpected delays between you and a fated person that's supposed to be. Maybe there's delayed marriage plans or engagement plans and just go with it. I think you'll still have direction. You'll still have determination, which is reinforced by the Ace of Wands. So despite these setbacks, delays, rumors, gossips, shakeups, you'll still press forward. But you'll be vigilant. The bird is all about vigilance. You'll have vigilance and direction despite what may, what may come with the Tower card here. But you are building towards something. You can see in this card here, you're building. You're almost at the top of the pyramid. You're almost there. You're almost either about to meet this person, meet this fated person. You're almost about to build a home with them. So whether you're buying a home, whether you, you know, I see that these couples are in your power here. You're almost at, at the finish line, so to speak. Whether you're um, a spouse and you, you have grown children Maybe these children are getting engaged. There's engagement around you, Taurus. Let's have a look at the next card. Okay, the King of Chalices. The King of Chalices is emotional goodness. It's emotional reliance. Look at this. You have the King here, but then you have the Queen. Queen of Cups. So this is the King of Cups. They name it chalices here. But then you have the Queen of Cups. Wow. This is the real deal, Taurus. This is potentially renewing your wedding, wedding vows for some of you. There is a church, this church um, Catholic Christian feel to these cards here. So it could be that you're um, renewing your wedding vows, getting married, undergoing some sort of ceremony here. The King of Chalices rules emotional goodness, emotional reliance. It's vulnerability as well. You might open up to someone about something. It could be a water sign. So it's a fated air sign or water sign that's around you, uh, potentially. And you'll open up. There's vulnerability with the um, King of Chalices. He's emotionally vulnerable. But you'll find support. You'll find words of wisdom, words of comfort coming from your significant other. I really think you'll be on a wonderful frequency this month in terms of couples and relationships. This can also be for siblings, friendships, acquaintanceships as well. It doesn't have to be love relationships. I feel like you'll have a beautiful support network around you. People who are emotionally invested and have your best interest at heart um, as well. Mm, beautiful. Let's have a look at your career and creative pursuits. Okay, the sun card, blessings, being showered with opportunities, embracing opportunities. 
giving birth to new ideas, fertility, fecundity, breathing new life into your career, into your role, into your job. I don't think there's, there's as much as you leaving a new job to start another. I feel like there's a new passion that will be invigorated. It could be that you go somewhere where it's really sunny for work. You might have to travel out. The sun card is about um, just embracing. I think you'll be in a wonderful wavelength for, um, for work, career, creative pursuits. You know, you have the sun, the magician. I think you'll be in the public eye or someone will be writing, either writing down or remembering the words you say to them. The words that you say, that you teach, that you preach will stay with people in the work in the work front you'll be leading by example um, I think you'll be having a really good really good days really positive days upward days uh, um, at you know at work or in business you'll feel optimistic you'll feel happy um, there, there may be different causes attributed to this, but I think for the most part, you will be very, um, you'll have a very, very good month, a well-performing month, um, just, a, just a really good optimism. Could be an Aries as well. The Aries has come up with the Magician and the Sun card. It could be an Aries that uh, it attributes to this optimism attributes to these blessings or it could be this Aries that say hey look you know this you have had a really good idea I want to put it on the system I want to implement it in one of our programs this is a great strategy this is a great design or contribution or idea so that's wonderful to see the sun card I love that giver of life new ideas giving birth to new ideas Okay, you have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is all about the upside down Jed. This should be like this. I think it has something to do with the Wheel of Fortune here. You're going through a cycle at work. I think things are turning around for you. The other cards are quite positive. So I feel like where you felt like there was lack, limitation, despair, doubt, lack of passion, this is turning around. There's a shape shift that'll make you feel differently about your work, your career, your goals, your direction, etc. It's also about rectifying an issue here. There may be something unexpectedly that turns up here, but you will have the right idea. You will approach it with caution. You'll approach it with strategy. Uh, you'll approach it with a certain um, calculative strategy or method or design or program or solution, solution-based thinking. Uh, I think you'll come in and you'll fix something, Taurus. There's something that needs to be fixed and you'll come up with good ideas, good programs or approaches that will be perfect solution-based um, answers to what it is that you need to fix what you need to rectify with the Ten of Wands. So there could be a bit of displacement, but I think for the most part, career-wise, it is looking exceptionally good. Um, again, the Wands rule fire, so Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo in particular that is coming up here that will help you. It's either this fire sign is what turns, what makes this Jed turn upside down and you'll have to come in and fix it, or they'll help you rectify the issue, turn it around, come through this upward cycle into something really, really positive. Just be careful though, there could be someone with the Magician card and the Ten of Wands. There could be someone who's um, a little bit deceitful here. The Magician does tend to trick us in his performances. Um, it's an illusion. He makes us believe, he leads us to believe something that isn't necessarily true. So just be careful of this in the workplace um, as well. Or career or business clients customers wholesalers suppliers colleagues etc okay so you have the queen of swords come up again she's come up twice so i'm not sure if this queen of swords is in your career she's faded around you or he's faded around you could be a, a, a male as well faded around you for one reason or another it's either in your career or your relationships but they've come up twice so they came up in your general and they've come up again in your extended and the Queen of Swords is a very, it's um, a very charismatic, direct, deliberate, methodical, analytical, charismatic, charming character. 
possibly under an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, who's coming in, somehow either connected through you in relationships and work or vice versa. But this is also an important conversation that needs to take place here. But you'll be leading from the front. You can see this Queen of Swords and she's holding the sword up here. And I almost feel like she'll have the bright idea. Something um, that needs direction or clarity. New ideas. I think a lot has to do with your communication. A lot of people will see you or depend on your word this month in your career or your business um, either for solace for comfort for direction for you know so it, you can't be ambiguous it needs to be very direct which I think you will be with the queen of swords here but god it's interesting she keeps coming up or someone's words they could be defamatory words um thrown out about you which you'll have to turn around with the upside down jed which you will I, I do see you doing that taurus let's move on and throw out a couple more cards for your general the hermit okay so a virgo has come up prominent virgo around you maybe the Hermit is about inner reflection, guidance. There's something about guidance here. Either you'll be turning to someone for guidance, a relationship expert, marriage counselor. We do have the Queen and the King of Swords. Maybe um, you need direction and guidance there. With the Hermit card, it can be that you, you with yourself and your own thoughts uh, and your own solitude is giving is breathing life into a new relationship a new work front I think it's more to do with you there could have been a lot of inner reflection that has happened recently for you Taurus and as a result this has shifted your awareness shifted your perception in a really positive light or if it hasn't maybe the Virgo is telling us that we need to delve deeper delve within and really reflect and analyze and make it clear to the universe what it is that we want who we want around us what our goals are so maybe it's um, it's seeking clarification or validation in some of these um, some of these things the hermit is a Virgo it's someone that strives for perfection so you're striving for perfectionism perfectionism in your relationships you've really got this as I said the Sun breathes in new life to us so it's a newfound energy something just almost changes in you and you feel like yes you're ready to do this and you're ready to strive for perfection and you won't settle for anything less Taurus so I love that you have this attitude with the hermit card and it might be that um, maybe you have a lot of signs, a lot of people fighting over you, wanting a relationship with you, Taurus, and you're not sure. And maybe you need to do some soul searching. It could very well be a month of soul searching, finding deeper meaning to your life. And maybe you want that family and you want commitment and you want children and great. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you want a career. Maybe you want fame. Maybe you want fortune. Maybe you want success. It's about solidifying and clarifying where you find fulfillment in your life. And that, of course, can be in different areas. There's no norm. Um, people find happiness and fulfillment in different things, Taurus. And I think this soul searching um, has been a long time coming. It's either been happening around you or is happening currently. Or it's a Virgo that's coming in around you, either a friend, an associate, a loved one, uh, potentially a relationship. And this person really makes you reflect on life more. It's a, they're a game changer. Let's have a look at one more card for your general. Could also be that you have a lot of solitude this month you have a lot of alone time or you need a lot of alone time me time Taurus and this is important for you um, you know and you love being a hermit you're a Taurus maybe not all the time but most of the time okay ten of Pentacles the ten of Pentacles is income legacy 
family, money, activity, finances, a busy month for you, I feel, on the career relationship front. There's a lot of family or friends either visiting you or will be around you. There is a lot of people in these cards. So I think you'll either be catching up with a lot of people this month, meeting with a lot of people, a lot of clients, um, a lot of interviews or meetings, business meetings, friend, friendly catch-ups that need to be done, you will attend. Um, it is about income and finances as well. So gaining stability with your finances. Uh, there's a lot of money here, so potentially a lucrative project or, as I said, breathing new life or gaining momentum in your career will bring about more money either for you, commission, sales, incomes, etc. For some of you, it's about um, merging finances with the 10, merging finances with a loved one, having a joint account, buying a home, buying an asset, um, investing into an asset as well. And maybe there is a need for this inner time of reflection with the hermit here because the Ten of Pentacles is showing the busyness. Um, you might be spending a lot of money on either an artist, a TV production, um, like a concert, um, someone famous with the Magician card. You might be spend, uh, spending a lot of money on tickets to stay at a lucrative hotel this month even. There's something you might be spending a lot of money on, but it's something for you. Um, you know, we reward... Sometimes we reward our body, but it's important to reward our soul and our mind as well. So maybe you'll be doing something special for yourself uh, that will help you through the month. So all in all, an absolutely wonderful reading, Taurus.